Of course, tourists in Florence want to see the David by Michelangelo. But sometimes, the lines in front of the Academia are just too long. Here's a tip if you find yourself in that predicament. Just a stone throw away from here, you can find the Museum Opificia delle Pietre Dure, the factory of semi-precious stones. Here is where in earlier days you could find the craftsmen that embellished so many churches and palazzos in Italy. The factory dates from 1588 and was installed by Grand Duke Ferdinando Primo de Medici with a very selfish reason. He started the factory so he could have the craftsmen working on the overall decoration of the now world-famous Cappella Medici. The technique, which originated from Byzantine inlay work, was perfected by the Opificio masters, as is very visible in the chapel. These guys can do everything with hard stones. From a bust in porphyry, to the most beautiful inlays of coat of arms. Or a table elaborately decorated with delicate inlays. These craftsmen could take a picture on canvas and recreate it in stone. From canvas to stone. Do you wonder how they do this? The procedure starts from the painted model. The outlines of the image are traced. The tracing is divided into small sections. Each section corresponds with a piece of stone and is transferred onto paper and cut out. The used instruments haven't changed throughout the ages. The stone section is cut out with a bow and an iron wire. The edges are filed with diamond files to get a perfect fit. These steps are repeated until the figure is completed. Parts are leveled and smoothed with abrasive powder. After which the protective slate is removed. Then the excess parts are cut away. Again, diamond filing is applied. This process is repeated until the entire composition is complete. Then the front is worked over with abrasive powder that brings out the brilliance of the work.